All right. I'm working on this little uh, Briggs Y model, Model Y, and uh, since our last encounter, I did a little research, to find out what year it was, and uh, I come up with a 1934. It was made in February 34, and it appears that they they made these models from uh, 1931 to 1940. So uh, 1940 actually only made 44 of them. So this uh, this engine had a good uh, eight year run, and. Uh, I put the points back in and the flywheel back on. I cleaned the flywheel up and everything. The only reason it was so tough to get off was because it had oil, gunky oil. And actually, another reason it was so tough to get off, the the shaft and the, the flywheel itself are in such pristine condition that there was no play. So, it, you know, just with that little bit of gunky oil and stuff, it kept it from coming off. But now it comes on and off easy. And the shaft, the shaft was beautiful under there. So, so like I say, I put the I put this back on, and put the points back in because I figure, what better time than to check the the spark than uh, right now while it's all on. But uh, what I want to do is uh, take the piston out so that I can really uh, spin the spin the crank, and uh, if it has a spark, we'll see if it has a good spark. So, right now, I'm going to. Uh, Turn it upside down and we'll, uh, we'll take the piston out. Like I said, we won't leave the crank in, but uh, right now let's, uh, let's take the piston out. Let me turn it over. Let me grab something that ain't going to spin. All right, hold on. Okay. It's going to teeter. It's teetering a little bit. So we got to be careful with it. No, it's just me. I was just turning the engine over. Oh, We're okay. Road, Road Queen got upset there. But you don't know you, how you turn, how you lift heavy stuff. Uh, but we're okay. Uh, let me take these bolts off and uh, see what's in there. Yeah, before we take the bottom off there, uh, here's the oil I found in there, right there. There's two drops of oil came out, so. Hopefully that's because uh, Tim drained it before he mailed it to me, so. Because uh, it looks like it was always well lubricated. Yeah, this thing is uh, this thing is barely staying up there, so we got to find a way to prop it up. We don't need this fall one, right? All right. All right. You got most of the bolts out except these last two. A little piece on there. They're not in there all that tight. They came out nice. And uh, yeah, this engine don't look like it's been uh, messed with at all, hardly. It's even got these, I don't know if you can see this. They got little itty bitty tiny washers, lock washers, you know, that hold them bolts on. And uh, they're all there. Let's open this up. We'll, uh, we'll open this up together. Oh, I was gonna try and save the gasket, but uh, the gasket looks like uh, some kind of goop. So there's no saving that. Yeah, we'll put that gasket on, put on some kind of seal on or something, which is okay. I hope this ain't asbestos, but then it probably is. All right. Yeah. Uh, take us off the stand there. Let me let me set this uh, this engine up a little better here so I can spin that wheel. And then I'll bring this over. Alright. Hold on, I'm gonna take this off. There we go. You guys alright? Let me turn your let me flip you around here so I can see what you're seeing here. Maybe give you a little light. Yeah, I'm impressed so far. Uh everything in here is pristine. 
even the gears, uh, the gears on the cam here and everything, man, they're hardly worn. They're, as a matter of fact, they're not even worn at all. Just gonna crank around here. I don't see any kind of uh, lock washer holding that uh, connecting rod on. You know, usually they have uh, lock washers or uh, like uh, locking, locking uh, bend over tabs or something. And unless the the heads of these bolts are like uh, serrated and stuff, uh, I don't know what the deal is there. But anyway, yeah, everything the lobes on the cam look perfect. And uh, everything else here, there's, there's absolutely no play at all in that connecting rod. So, uh, let, me, uh, let me set these up over here on my side and uh, maybe you guys can see what we're doing. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oop. I almost lost my tower blocks here. Okay, that should be okay. I'm going to try to stay out of your way, but uh, it's going to be tough. I'm taking this out, I'm curious to see if there's anything on the bottom. Wow. That's, I think that's the longest bolt I've ever seen. Alright. Yeah, something uh, something just fell out, and uh, chances are it's probably a lock washer. You just can't see it because it's probably like them tiny ones. So I'm going to have to make sure I find that. I heard that crack, so that's a good sign. I'm going to be careful. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Lock washer's it's just the opposite. Lock washer's so big, it, it blended in with the, the crankshaft, or the, the connecting rod. We got you see it on there? It's a regular size lock washer. Yeah, blend it in. Blend it in with the, the works. Wow. This is unbelievable. Look at that. You guys ever see a connector rod as pristine as that? And look, you, I think you can see the shaft. Look at, that, uh, look at that connecting rod, man. That's beautiful. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen a connecting rod in that shape in my life. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. That rod was moving it, uh, pretty easy there, so... Now let's see what we can do here. Let's, get, let's make a little room for you. Get rid of these blocks. I'm just going to throw them on the floor so I don't get excited. Turn this on its side here, and let's see if we can push that out. Ugh. I'm going to have to get something to tap that with because it must be a tiny bridge or something there. Hold on, let me go get something. All right. I just put a tiny piece of wood in the back here, and we're going to tap it a little bit. Looks like it's coming. There we go. Just a screwdriver. There we go. There we go. Don't know what was holding it. Hmm. Wow. A lot of carbon. A lot of carbon built up in the wheel ring here, the bottom. But other than that, the rest of the rings. Hmm. Tough to say. Tough to say. I'll have to check the gap on. Okay. I don't have to worry about uh, how we put the the piston back in because it has a 
I don't know how well you can see it's kind of dark, but there's like a little X. Little X on this side, and I think the X always goes to the flywheel. Okay. Yeah, this, uh, this connecting rod. It's an aluminium connecting rod. It's pretty odd for this year. This is a 1934. But uh, that's pristine too. Beautiful. And the piston looks good. No gouges or scrapes or anything. And that's, that's tight as can be too. Alright, you know, we're happy with all that. Alright, now I think maybe we can uh, take this muffler off. I juiced it up earlier. Let me give it a little... Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. I don't think, I don't think I'll be able to take it out without taking this pipe out. It's going to hit our block there. So, let me see if I could uh, unscrew this. If not, we'll cut it off, right? Nothing special about that. Alright. Alright. I tried to get that off. I tried to get it off with a pipe wrench. And then I couldn't get it do nothing there, so I tried the, the hot wrench here. And uh, even that didn't help. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this with the sawzall right here. Right up against the thing there. That way I can... If I want to reuse that and everything, I can uh, I can saw it out and chisel out uh, what's left, and then retap this. Because I said there was nothing special about this, but there probably is, you know, because it looks like a, a regular uh, pipe fitting, looks like maybe three quarter. And uh, up here, uh, it looks like it was made for a special muffler that goes on there. So uh, we're going to save that. You know, it is original equipment. And uh, like I say, we can we can always re rethread this if we have to, and we'll cut that off because uh, I didn't like you know I had the wrench on here. I didn't like the way it was moving down here. You know I don't want to take a chance of cracking this uh, casting in the block. If we do that, then we're really screwed. So uh, let me cut that off, and uh, we'll continue on. All right. Yeah, I got that exhaust pipe off. I uh, I cut it, and. Uh, yeah, there's a reason why you got to take these apart, these old engines, before you try and start them. This, this one got some kind of critter. There you go. This one has some kind of critter uh, nest in there. Matter of fact, so much. Let me turn these upside down here so you can see. Uh, can you see the hole there? The hole's completely. Let me set it down here. It's a heavy engine. Where yeah. you Can you see me? Yeah, it's completely, completely filled up with uh, something. I don't know if it's a nest or nuts or... I don't know, but... Uh, you ought to smell it. Because, like I said, I, was, I had the hot wrench on it and... Uh, it was actually on fire. Alright. Alright, it's uh, Sunday afternoon. It's about time for kickoff, so uh, I'm going to go in there and uh, watch the Saints beat the Eagles. So, uh, you know what? Let me take off the camera before I go in there and uh, show, you what, uh, show you what that cylinder looks like. That thing's immaculate. Crazy. Crazy. Let me spin, spin this around so I can see what you're saying. Look at that. Not a single scratch anywhere. Yeah, this, uh, this engine, uh, this didn't have much uh, wear at all. Matter of fact, there, there isn't even a, a ridge up here. You know, the reason that the piston wasn't coming out that much because the only ridge it had, you can see here, was a carbon ridge on the top. That's the only thing that was holding it in. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a, a it's going to be a nice engine, real nice engine. So, uh, all right. I'm going to go in there and watch the game, and uh, we'll come back and uh, maybe do a little more. Alright, yeah, it's the next day, and uh, I think what we'll do is, uh, we'll see if it has a spark. Alright, let me see, i got a bowl here so we can ground it out. Clean this up a bit. Make sure we got a good ground, good connections. 
Okay. Got a brand new spark plug here. It doesn't matter what kind you have. I made sure it had a, a spin top on it so it would uh, get good contact there. All right, and uh, got a clamp here, our Irwin clamp. These are good to have. This one, I guess they still make them. Yeah, this one's from uh, 2003, but uh, they're handy. All you do is squeeze them and to hold whatever you need. All right, you guys in the uh, view there? Let me see here. There we go. You in focus? Alright, let's see. Hope for the best. Oh, look at that. Wow. Good spark. Good spark. Can you see that? Can you see it on film? I don't know if you can or not. But... Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'm glad to see that. Let's see if I can turn it down a little bit. No. I was going to try and turn it down so you can see a little better. But uh, you, get the, you get the idea. Yeah, I'm glad to see that spark. Because uh, their uh, the coils are expensive and tough to find. Alright, uh, you know what? How about if we, uh, let me back this off. Let me back this off a little bit. Here we go. I think uh, I think what I'll do is uh, we'll take this. Uh, got a little pulley over here. Can you see me? Oh yeah. There we go. All right. Yeah, we'll take the pulley off and. Uh, oh, that was nice. Yeah, a couple. Uh, a couple guys asked what these they use this engine for, and these are actually for uh, washing machines. So this one's a little tight. Yeah, they made them for washing machines, but they also use them for lawn mowers. And uh, you can tell this was uh, a washing machine because all this stuff here, it's actually powder. That's actually. Uh, Detergent and, and dust and stuff, you know, it's not grease. And even on a carburetor, you know, it's all, all uh, laundry detergent and stuff. That's another way you could tell if it was used for a washing machine or a lawnmower. Lawnmower would have an air cleaner. Uh, for the washing machines, they didn't, they didn't uh, put air cleaners on them. Okay, might have to get a puller for this. That's not, that's not even budging a little bit, so uh, let me get that off of there and then I'll clean the shaft up. I don't know, you, you guys can't see it, but uh, the shaft is, is packed with uh, laundry detergent and stuff like that. The shaft looks good though. I scraped a little bit off of there. Looks good, so uh, let me take that off and clean that up and then uh, we'll take the crank out. Alright. Yeah, I got this. Uh, I got the pulley off. I uh, cleaned the shaft up and everything, and it slides off and on nice now. But I uh, I put it back on there because that's going to help me take that flywheel off. Give me something to grab. So oh, let me see. Let me push up a little bit so you can see. There you go. Is that better? All right. Let's uh, take this flywheel off again. And I'm going to I'm going to take the points and the coil and everything off with the backing plate. And then I can play with that later on. So, uh, this bolt is just put on there to hold that flywheel on so you check the spark. Okay, that flywheel should come right off because uh, we had it off already. I cleaned it up and uh, just twist the crankshaft there and it come right off. Yeah, this thing's in beautiful shape. This whole engine's in beautiful shape. Alright. 
When we took the points off before, or when we took the, the coil off, uh, a couple guys mentioned that uh, I was missing a bolt, you know, a hidden bolt, but uh, the only thing that holds that coil on is these two, uh, two screws here. These bolts here, these four bolts here, that look like they're, they're hidden, actually holds this backing plate on, and that's, that's what we're going to take off right now. All right, I'm going to take this pulley off because we're done with it. See, it come off real nice. I, I, dress, I had to dress that, that flywheel up a little bit because uh, the screws were dug in there. But uh, let's, let's see how we're uh, trying to stay out of your way here. Take these bolts out. Here we go. They're not tight at all, but uh, I'm going to get a bigger screwdriver anyway. All right, I've got this bigger screwdriver here, and uh, let me see, maybe you guys can see better if I tip it down this way, huh? All right, yeah, it's better. Better for me, too. I won't get in your way. Those are going to be tight, but they're not. They were tight because of the lock washer, but uh, once it broke that loose, they spin right out. There we go. Got my lock washer down there. Alright, one more. Hang in there with me. Okay. Now these backing plates are a tight fit. They're so tight that they feel like they're stuck and jammed, you know what I mean? If there's even a little bit of cock in them, I didn't mean to say that, but... Uh, <laughs> Oh, Road King. If they're cocked, they're cocked just a little bit, they're not going to come out. And uh, on the F's and the FH's and uh, probably the Y's, you know, everybody tries to stick a screwdriver on there and pry them out, and that's the wrong thing to do. That's a, that's a sure way to, to bust them. This one looks like it's a, it's a lot thicker. And you might have better luck with this one. But uh, the way I've found that they break loose the best is to to hit the crank with a hammer back here and the crankshaft actually pushes it out evenly look at that, look at that you guys, you got, you guys watching this? alright it's getting held up down there by my uh, diaper alright, you know what? I got the whole crank out now alright yeah, you see that, that edge there? That's a machined edge, and that, that uh, holds tight up against there. Let's get our crank out. Hmm. Wow. I'm looking at the bearing in here. Yeah, that's, that's in beautiful condition. Beautiful shape. This whole engine. Yeah, this is, this is why I couldn't get the, the coil out when I when unbolted and everything. It's all it's, it's clamped on here. And it goes through this hole and everything, so uh, this way I can uh, I can work on this and clean that up a lot better. So, all right. Yeah, I don't know how uh, how long this video is getting, but uh, I imagine it's getting pretty long. So, you know, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this engine up, get rid of all this uh, soap detergent and stuff like that, and get this engine ready to work on. So, all right, we got a lot done. We got we know we got a good coil. And we got the crank out, got the plate off without busting it, and uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm also going to work on this uh, up top here. I got this bolt that was busted off, so I'm going to I'm going to spray that down, and then we'll try and get that out. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that on camera or not. So, all right. What do you guys say? Enough of this. All right. We'll see you in enough in the next one.